Hi and welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. And we're gonna use NFPA Link, which is our easy to use digital access to all NFPA codes and standards. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a question that I get quite often, and I think it's because you know they're used quite often in buildings, and that is fire extinguishers. Specifically, how often do I need to be inspecting them? and what do I need to be inspecting for? So we're gonna go ahead and hop into NFPA link and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in NFPA 10. So we're gonna go down and find NFPA 10. Now I could click right on it, go right into it, but I'm going to add it to my favorites. You know, I like to add mostly used documents to my, my favorites so I can be able to get at them quickly. So here's NFPA 10 right here. I'm gonna scroll through the table of contents. We're looking at inspection, maintenance, and recharging and specifically looking at inspections. So we're gonna look at 7.2 here, inspection frequency. Fire extinguishers need to be inspected manually when I initially place them into service. And then they need to be inspected manually or by some means of electronic monitoring at an interval not exceeding 31 days. Another thing to note here, it's gotta be at least once per calendar month. So. There's not many months that have more than uh, 31 days in them, but I gotta make sure I do it at least once per month, not exceeding 31 days. But then if I'm in an area that the conditions require maybe more frequent inspections, I may need to do it even daily or weekly. And if you're wondering for what are those conditions are, you can go ahead and look at the annex materials, a little bit of material. Again, these aren't requirements. This is just added information from the technical committee that created this document, providing some additional information. Inspections need to be more frequent if any of these following uh, should any of these following conditions be met. Maybe I have a high frequency of fires. Maybe I'm susceptible to tampering or vandalism, or I have a history of theft of that fire extinguisher, or maybe even there's a possibility that that extinguisher is gonna be damaged or get obstructed. So those are some ideas where I might need to be increasing that frequency over that 31 days. And then when I'm doing an inspection, 7.22 is providing me those, those periodic inspection points. The first one being confirming that it's in its designated place, then confirming that the extinguisher is visible or that the means of indicating the extinguisher is visible. So maybe the sign is visible if the extinguisher is not necessarily readily visible. Make sure I have access to that extinguisher. Then checking the pressure gauge reading or the indicator to make sure it's in that operable range. Checking to make sure there's agent in the extinguisher. So that's by either, you know, by lifting it or weighing it or some means to, to make sure that there's actually agent in there. And then if I have a wheeled extinguisher, I want to check the tires, the wheels, the carriage, the hose, and the nozzle. Again, most people might not necessarily have a wheeled fire extinguisher. You might see those a lot in like parking garages or things like that. And then finally, if I have a non-rechargeable fire extinguisher, I'm going to use the push to test indicator to make sure that that's full. If you want to read some more information, there's enhanced content on many sections in NFPA 10. And there's a lot more sections going over the types of um, inspections and, and more requirements for those inspections. But in general, those are the, the main requirements that you're going to be seeing for fire extinguisher inspections. So I hope that provided some insight on fire extinguisher inspections. And if you want to learn more about NFPA Link, how you can use NFPA Link, maybe do more research on you know, fire extinguisher requirements or things like that, go ahead and visit nfpa.org slash link.